Oh, welcome to Galactic Treasure Hunter. So, I finally broke down and bought a actual telescope for my astrophotography. I've been using an actual camera lens for several years now, the Rokinon 135 on my Skywatcher Star Adventure 2i. And it's been working pretty good. I uh, recently got a used Ioptron ZEQ25 GT mount, which is much heavier, can handle upper 20 pound range telescope. So I figured it's time to upgrade to something a little more focal length. Yeah, this is you know, the Ascar FRA 300 Pro. Um, got it from High Point Scientific. Gonna unbox it here, see what it looks like. So, you know, 300 millimeters, give me a little more reach for the some of the galaxies are a little bit smaller, some of the smaller nebulas. And uh, hopefully my tracker will be able to track this properly. I'm, the goal is I'm going to try to do this untracked for, for at least for a while and eventually maybe get into auto guiding. But I'm going to see if it will handle this. Uh, it seemed to handle the Rokinon 135 totally fine. It you had no issues with several minute exposures. So I figured three, 300 millimeters should be fine. So I'm going to open this thing up and see if it's actually intact through the shipping. Pretty good quality packaging. This is actually, looks like the Ascar packaging. So they just, uh, I also got the Vatinov mask for it, which is a Apertura, I believe. So let's see. Yeah, this is about an old mask. Yeah, pretty nice. I have one that's 3D printed for my Rokinon 135. Well, box inside of a box. Okay, that's good. Structure manual. Don't need that. Oh wow, it's actually a little bit bigger than what I expected. Got some weight to it. it looks like they have the actual wrap in underneath the, the mount here. we got with it. Here's some uh, adapters for different cameras. I believe that is it. Seems to be in perfect condition, which is great to see. So, I believe we are set up this way for now. So, yeah, it's a very, it's a very well made. The dew shield's very smooth, very nice. Get some felt blocking in there. Eliminate all the glare. This will be for auto guiding camera. This allows you to rotate. 
very smooth. Focuser is extremely smooth. I believe this is going to be very nice for what I am actually looking for. So this has five lenses and there's a field flattener inside. So no need to buy that extra, which is great. These are actually on sale right now on High Point Scientific. So yeah, this is going to be really nice. This is very well made. Very nice machining. Yep, yeah, now I gotta get some clear nights because, you know, obviously when you buy a telescope, it's cloudy. So, it's supposed to be cloudy for the next, uh, yeah, at least week. So, Let's see how this goes. But, uh, tried on the new mount here and it should track pretty well. It's, an, it's, the nice part about it is it's actually, Pretty short so even though it is it is relatively heavy but I was using a 150 to 600 camera lens and that lens actually came out to about here when it was extended to 600 millimeters and uh, it was very front heavy so this actually will be much better to balance hopefully everything works with focusing but they say it's pretty be easy to focus with this uh, micro focuser but yeah it's very very good quality it appears so check the back lens here oh it's a terrible sound optics are perfectly clean But uh, it should do a nice job. So pretty excited to try it. Actually get a little bit closer view of some of these objects I've been taking photos of for years and just not able to get a great, totally great reach on everything. So uh, my only concern is, am I going to be able to track long enough? I mean, this is an F5, so it's relatively fast. Uh, I mean, I've been using an F2 lens, so I mean, that's going to, be a big difference for me but if I can get you know minute and a half two minute exposure I'll be very happy and that should be sufficient with uh, my Bortle 5 skies so yeah I'll give it a try here soon hopefully uh hopefully get some clear skies so there it is thanks for watching